I'm Ama, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can masculinize your voice as fast as possible. Everything that I demonstrate can help you regardless of if you're on testosterone or not. So if you're pre t or non-T, don't feel like you can't benefit from this. Vocal masculinization is the behavioral modification of the vocal tract to emulate the effects of testosterone in people assigned male at birth, which from this point on I will be shortening to AMABs. During puberty, AMABs have three main changes that occur due to the influence of testosterone. One, the larynx descends and gets bigger. Two, the vocal folds get longer and thicker. Three, the skull gets larger, which in turn increases the amount of space in the mouth. Vocal masculinization is simulating these changes through behavioral vocal tract modifications. You may know that testosterone will cause your voice to change. However, for many transmasculine people, the changes that occur may be different than the ones that occur during AMAB puberty. Oftentimes, the vocal folds will get longer and thicker, and the larynx usually does descend slightly. However, the amount it descends is usually less than it does for most AMABs. This means that while your voice will drop as the result of testosterone, there is a possibility that you will still have some residual brightness in your voice. This is the residual brightness I'm talking about that's commonly found in transmasculine voices. This is the result of the larynx not fully descending and not having a large enough embouchure. If that's the issue that you're currently having with your voice, then you should focus on the larynx height and embouchure section of this guide. Before we fully get into this, I'd like to first dispel a few common myths. There is no such thing as talking from your chest or talking from your throat. These are ultimately abstractions that don't actually mean much as far as what's going on with your voice on a physical level. There's also no such thing as increasing head resonance or increasing chest resonance either. When someone says this, they're usually referring to sympathetic vibrations that you sometimes feel when you place your hand on your chest or on your head while speaking or singing. These sympathetic vibrations can differ greatly from person to person and are not indicative of if you are doing something right. Pitch also isn't everything. You can still sound masculine at a high pitch and you can still sound feminine at a low pitch. Here, let me demonstrate. Here's an example of a fairly feminine voice at a low pitch. Here's an example of a masculine voice that is at a higher pitch. The last thing I'd like to dispute is the idea that without testosterone, you cannot masculinize your voice. Um, while testosterone will make things easier for you, it's definitely not necessary. If you're pre-T, it's unlikely that you'll be able to have an extremely deep voice. But you definitely can work towards more downwards pitch expansion than you realize and can get plenty deep enough to have a passing voice. Now let's work on masculinizing your voice. The first thing that I want to talk about is closed quotient. If you have a high closed quotient, your vocal folds are spending more time in a closed position during the glottal cycle. If you have a higher open quotient, your vocal folds are spending more time in an open position during the glottal cycle. What we want for vocal masculinization is a higher closed quotient. When you have a high open quotient, your voice sounds softer. When you have a high closed quotient, your voice sounds heavier. When you have a high closed quotient, your voice sounds heavier. When you have a high open quotient, your voice sounds softer. It's important to not conflate high open quotient with breathiness. I can have a high open quotient and be breathy, or I can have a high open quotient and not be breathy. I can have a high closed quotient and not be breathy, or I can be breathy while having a high closed quotient. These things are separable and they are different. For increasing your closed quotient, you can use a quotient slide. Start from a high note, then slide down, and if you are unable to hold that bottom note, you can slide back up and speak. Otherwise, just stay down there. Uh, now I'm speaking, and this is what it sounds like. And then here's the alternative version of the drill. Uh, now I'm speaking. It's likely that you're probably going to start flipping into something called vocal fry when you first try this. That sounds like this. Uh, right? You want to try and avoid that. Don't expect to get this right the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time, or the seventh time. This is a very difficult drill, and it will take lots of attempts before you get it right. Now let's talk about larynx height. So, with larynx height, there's two main drills that I use. The first one is small dog, big dog, and the second one is a yawn. 
with small dog big dog you want to try and imitate the pants of a dog first try to imitate the pants of a chihuahua then try and imitate the pants of a labrador no you do not need to stick your tongue out while doing this exercise so when you do it correctly it will sound like this after that you want to do the phonation test now please do the phonation test each time it's incredibly important so the phonation test is when you take that sound and then propel yourself onto a vowel Ah, oh, now I'm speaking. Once you have your lyrics lowered, you want to try and maintain it and then speak with that quality in your voice. The other drill that you can do is just to straight up yawn. Ah, oh, now I'm speaking uh, with a yawn, and this is what my voice sounds like. Now onto the last part, with embouchure. With embouchure, we're essentially trying to increase the amount of space in our mouth. The exercise that I use for this is point to E and point to A. Ah. Basically, you want to make an E vowel, and then you want to make an A ah vowel, and you want to feel the way that your mouth changes when you go between these two vowels. Your mouth should feel larger when you make an A ah sound. So, E, A, ah, E, A. Ah. You want to make sure that while you're doing this, you're not conflating this with larynx height because you can trick yourself into thinking you're doing embouchure and really you're just lowering your larynx. So, again, e, o, e, o. And then you want to talk after saying e and then talk after saying a ah, while trying to maintain the feeling of an e sound and then trying to maintain the feeling of an a ah sound. E speaking from E. I'm speaking from E. A oh, speaking from A. Oh, I'm speaking from A. Oh. You may also want to do individual consonant adjustments. You can do this by taking one form of a consonant, like a bright s sound, for example, and then changing your tongue position to make it sound darker. S s s s s s. You can do this with a number of different consonants. For example, with a t. Sound, you can go t, 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 t. Other consonants, like a ch sound, can be adjusted by changing the position of your lips. Ch, 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 ch. Cherry, 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 cherry. When you combine all these properties together, large embouchure, low legs, high closed quotient, you get a masculine voice. However, don't rush into trying to combine all of these modifications just yet. Make sure that you have all of these down individually before you try and combine them. Otherwise, you'll mess yourself up, especially when it comes to larynx height and closed quotient because a lower larynx will make it more difficult for you to increase your closed quotient. This is because when you lower your larynx, your vocal folds become more abducted, meaning further apart. All right, that was transmasculine voice in about 8 minutes and 30 seconds, so a little bit longer than my FM voice in 8 minutes, but that's okay. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment, and if you'd like to see more videos like this from me in the future, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about anything I talked about here, please check out the Linguistics Discord and my written transmasculine voice guide, both of which will be linked below. I'll also answer any questions in the comments for the next few days that this video is uploaded. I also have a Twitter account if you'd like to follow me on there, as well as a Ko-Fi account if you'd like to support my work with donations, which will go towards increasing production quality and my own transition. Ooh, I almost forgot to mention, on Singlistics we have all kinds of completely free resources for anyone to access. All you have to do is join the server. Um, we have public shadowable lessons, which are lessons given by the teachers on the Discord, me being one of them, uh, that you can just listen in on for completely free. You can learn so much stuff just by joining the Discord. Um, we also have lounges where you can practice your voice while, talk, while talking about things. Um, and we have workshops where you can uh, further develop your skills um, in voice. All right, and that concludes everything. Goodbye.